Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, May 7, 2021. If you'd like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new studios, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. So, there was a lot of action today, a lot of back and forward, a lot of actually a lot of volatility in the market today, not just in the foreign exchange market, but also in indices and stocks and so on. But uh, we'll start by looking at the Great British Pound and the US dollar. And as you can see, we have been basically all over the place and we ended up roughly at the same place as we started. So we're only down 0 0.02 at this current stage. We found the support at the 40 exponential moving average and we also found resistance at this uh, upper resistant line so we technically need to break above here in order to go higher us dollar fell sharply today so i was expecting this to rally substantially but it didn't even after the um, interest rate uh, uh, news uh, nothing really happened here so it looks like uh, there's a lot of uh, support underneath and of course, we need to break above this line in order to go higher. If we look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is uh, flat, the RSI is bullish, the CCI is flat, the stochastic is bullish, and uh, we're right here above uh, the middle of the bullish band. So it is technically a waiting game. Whether or not we break above here or we break the 100 moving average, we'll, that will leave us all the way down to the 150. So let's look at the US dollar and Japanese yen. Very similar here rallied up towards this channel and then broke down and now we're trading just underneath the 50 moving average at 109.064. So at this current stage we can see that the MACD is still bullish, it's still in bullish territory but it's leveling off. The RSI is flat, the CCI is becoming bearish and the stochastic is bearish, has crossed the signal line. We did reach the top of this channel and it looks like we are ready to go back towards the, at least to the middle of the Bollinger Band, which is just, just underneath the 40 exponential. And if that breaks, then we may as well go all the way down toward the very bottom. If we break above this uh, trend line here, then we could go and retest these highs at 110 and beyond that. So let's look at the Euro, Euro US dollar. Uh, we have a very similar uh, situation here as we have, for example, in the Great British, uh, in the Great British Pound of US dollar. We found support down here at the 300 moving average, rallied up towards this line, and then we broke down, found support at the 40 exponential, and today we rallied. So this, there was much more action in the euro US dollar, especially because the euro, the US dollar depreciated significantly today. But we need to break above this um, uh, upper resistance line in order to go significantly higher and we when we do that then we'll probably go and retest at these previous highs at 12 at 33 if we break down from here then we have the 50 and the 300 moving average which will most likely be significant support if you look at technical indicators we can see that the macd is still in bullish territory but has crossed the signal line so there is a bearish momentum rsi is bullish cci is bearish and the stochastic is technically flat at this current stage we're trending just above the middle of the bullish band and that could mean that we'll go towards the top of this range tested if we have a close above here then we could see this go significantly higher so let's look at the aussie us dollar so we are need to get we need to get through 0.78 and at the, today we rallied 0.77 so a massive rally uh, today and uh, if you look at technical indicators we can see that macd is about to cross the signal line indicating bullish momentum rsi is bullish the cci is becoming bullish and so is the stochastic so momentum is to the upside but we have tested uh, this level here several times in the past we can see it over here broke down here broke down yet again it broke down and so on and we basically need a candlestick above here closing in order to determine whether or not we're going to 0 0.80 or 0 0.90 and beyond that break down from here most likely find major support at the 150 moving average at 0 0.76 so the us dollar canadian dollar this absolutely fell apart but uh, this is also becoming really interesting because we are approaching this lower support uh, support line. If you look at technical indicators, they are looking dreadful. The RSI is significantly oversold. We have basically been 
dropping since we hit the 100 moving average all the way down here. And that's a drop of 3.85% in only roughly two and a half weeks. So that's a massive drop in this currency pair. We are getting significantly overstretched here. We are oversold. Uh, however, technical indicators are looking dreadful. So we may see a bounce from here. Um, that would not be surprising if we saw a bounce from here. However, this candlestick is looking dreadful. But there's just not a lot of space for this to basically drop below um, this um, support line at this current stage. But who knows? It is um, it is very bearish at this current stage. But pullbacks from here most likely find support at the 20 exponential, which will move this way. So roughly at 1230 is where we'll most likely run into major um, resistance. So hope you found this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And you're welcome to join us over Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.